Hi, guys. How are you doing? This is kind of a good morning. Good morning, America. We have our, <laughs> our we have our new photo booth up. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly. Oh, it looks so good. We need on like five balloons. Very productive morning. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, all of us in our own way. But mm -hmm. yeah, the photo booth looks so good. Mm -hmm. So it's up and come take your photo. We'll have, it'll be completed probably by this afternoon. Amazon just happens to be taking a really long time. There again, my beef with Amazon. <laughs> You know, they're not doing good in my opinion. I'm almost ready to cancel my Prime membership. Well, I kind of am too. I mean, I heard some stuff today from this union dude, which I'm not a big union person, just personally, but unions can be good. That, uh, oh, anyway, that's political. So we're not going to get into that. Yeah, we're we're never going to back that up. <laughs> that. You're right. So Leslie did a great job. She's killing yes. it. The photo booths. I love the photo booths. They're oh, so fun. Goodness. I'm kind of curious what inspired you to like want to do that. Because they were so upset about it. Yeah, we did the one for yeah. the, the open house. Was it open house? No, the um, volunteer, volunteer dinner. dinner. Yeah. We did one. Not well, we did one this year, but the previous year they got all into it, and it oh, was yeah, and I really thought they would ever get into it, yeah. Um, and so then we did another one this year, good turnout. Then we did the open house, and then they got mad at us. For We're taking, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember that. So now oh. we have a and that's a great area in that front foyer to have something like that because mm -hmm. we can keep the tree up, mm -hmm. we can make the tree the same theme, mm -hmm. and everybody likes to take pictures. I mean, mm -hmm. it's fun. Like you said before, you guys dress up, you mm -hmm. come in, take a photo of yourself. You we look like nice it. all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. And how many photos do your like sons, daughters, grandkids ever get of you? I, I'll take mom, dad. I'll yeah. never get any photos of you, like hardly ever. Like or, I get a lot of your birds and your bunnies, which are really yeah. cute. But <laughs> what do you do? You get the animals or sitting there opening a present or eating. <laughs> That's what grandparents' pictures are. You don't get the nice standing up, looking good, you know, type of thing. So, yeah, come in, take your picture. I love this one, too. Are we saying what the theme is? Yeah. Baseball! It is baseball. baseball. It's it all inspired because of, Lo, I hope you're watching. Because of you, Lo. Yeah. Because I'm doing a football one come September. So mark your calendar. September's going to be football, and we're going to make it super cute and Seahawks and fun. But... I said that to her, and she goes, what, what about, about baseball? baseball? <laughs> Lo is a baseball girl. That's and for I sure. am, too. I mean, our family doesn't watch any other sports. But it was hard to, like, squeeze in because we'd already had a august theme pick out. Yeah. And then September is already football. So it was like, where do I squeeze this in? But I already had the backdrop because my middle son is wanting a baseball party for his ninth birthday this year. So I started buying stuff for it and so it yeah, it turned it, it, out good she made the streamers she didn't buy those I she did. hand made those streamers and i'll tell you they look better than anything that you could have bought so come in and see them take a picture um if you don't know how to post it on our web page then uh send it to us or we'll even show you how to send it to us so we can oh that i think that'd be great mm -hmm. yeah i'll be happy to show you how to Tag yourself in it and and do all that stuff. And we can take the photos for you. Don't feel like you have to yeah. do that. And then send it to your family. I had one yeah. lady ask me, she goes, well, what am I supposed to do with it after I take it? I said, do you have children? She goes, yeah. I said, well, then send it to them. Yeah, send it to them so the grandkids can see you doing something other than. <laughs> Post it on social media. You'd be surprised how many family members will like the photo. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's great. So you had a great day yesterday. Yesterday was the wife's birthday. You oh. pulled the photo up and like put it close. Oh. She looked beautiful. Oh, I didn't even get to see the photo. Oh. <laughs> we're busy I'll doing the, the show. We're, we're busy doing the balloons. So this was her 26th? 26th birthday. Oh, oh she looks like a queen. Mm -hmm. oh, the, oh my goodness. Is that the is that what you got her? Oh, I got a bottle of tequila and a, a espresso machine. Yeah, the espresso <laughs> machine. I think that's what Nikki and Becky got. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's Spenda. So you have it. to hold it up so everybody can yeah. see. Yeah, right, I'll show you the one with my little nephew and the wife. Yeah, but show the one of her standing like the queen. She looks so pretty. She well, does. she is pretty. Well, yes. So, yeah. Focus. Yeah. Focus. Stay. <laughs> she had an amazing time. We had tacos. 
And the avocado, I don't know what it was, but the, the avocado dip that went with it was so good. It was a great time. Everyone worked together. It was a surprise. So what I did was I told her, we're going to water fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't be late. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Put her in the car. We get to water fire. I'm like, oh, put these blindfolds on. And she's like, what? Yeah, I was like, just put them on. And so I drive around for a little bit, wait for everyone to get ready, come back to my brother's home. So it wasn't at water fire. It wasn't at oh water fire. Uh -uh, uh -uh. But we had her thinking we we're going to go on just, you know, a little date. yeah Nothing crazy before her, you know, for her birthday. And we walk in and everyone has a cake up, candles lit, uh -oh. big 26. Everyone's lined up, take the blindfold off. And she almost starts crying. And we start oh, thinking happy birthday. That's so cool. Yeah. So she knew something was up. She just didn't know well, what. It's kind of hard to surprise your soulmate. Because she knew something was happening, but she didn't really know what exactly. Yeah. So it's a W. It's a win. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. It was yeah, a good day. That's awesome. Now, that was Sunday. Um, That was the birthday party. Yesterday was her actual birthday birthday. Oh, okay. Because of work schedules, you know, yeah. you, you always do different days sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we went out and we got a bunch of free stuff. That's what she wanted to do. She wanted to get free things for her birthday. Oh, we so different places had things for when you're... <laughs> so Starbucks gave um free drink, uh, free and a free uh, little pastry. We went to Panera Bread. We got some free stuff. We went to Cinnabon and Cinnabon in the mall. Krispy Kremes. Uh, some jewelry stores were having like just like you know not too fancy but like you know whatever's. We went to. You need a list of these birthday free places. Right. You can so... Google it. Yeah. Really? So I've been missing out. If I you're... go to Starbucks every year. Yeah. <laughs> but here's what they do. If your birthday's coming up and you want some free stuff, download the app. I know it can be a lot, but if you like Sephora or if you like Walmart or anything, you never know. Download the app and they'll tell you if you can get something free on your birthday. And a lot of times when it is your actual birthday, you'll get a notification. It'll say, happy birthday. Come get this. Here's a coupon or whatever it is. Huh. You'd be surprised. Hey, free is always good. Yes. All right. Yes. We got free from I know. today. Ricky, um, they said they no. They spoiled us. I said no. I, I said no. no. And then we show, Mike tells them what we like, and he shows up. Like no, I've never <laughs> had. My girlfriend, Leslie, always had vanilla lattes. Mm -hmm. And so when I go up and visit her gravesite, I'll bring her a little vanilla latte. And um. I have a mocha. And so I've never tried one, though. But I've been kind of over the whole mocha thing. Mm -hmm. So you bring it. It's really good. Now, this is going to sound stupid. I didn't know mocha was chocolate. Huh? I didn't know that. It's like coffee. Really? It's coffee chocolate. I, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Well, I got, I, I was telling you, I got, we had a great mystery trip number two. Mm -hmm. So That always sounds funny. Mystery trip number two. Anyway, <laughs> um, I digress. So it didn't uh, go down the toilet. It didn't go down the toilet. And it was a good one. <laughs> so a lot of people have been asking. So what I did was the original plan was to go, which I got the tickets last year, to go to Clue. Mm -hmm. Fifth Avenue's Broadway production of Clue. I love that movie, though, with Tim Curry. I would probably love that play. I wish The I'd go play to was beyond. I mean... You know, hats off. I was a playhouse actor. Mm -hmm. Playhouse actors are great. But when you get professional actors, ones that have been in TV shows and things like that, which is what this was, we laughed for an hour and a half straight. I mean, my sides were hurting. The physical comedy of some of these actors was amazing. And um, they first they said no inter intermission. And we thought, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> no, no break. You didn't even want to break. It was nonstop. So so that was the original plan to get to Seattle. But I needed to have some things. A in, diversion. A, a diversion. <laughs> so I had the hotel planned. I had um, a second day thing planned. I needed to find a dinner. And then I thought, well, we'll have a diversion. And so we went to Kashmir. Mm-hmm completely the wrong way yeah and did the tour at applets and cutlets now i didn't realize they had been rescued by this new owner so because they were going to close really applets and cutlets yeah and they'd cut off tours so when i called them they said oh no we're doing tours i said oh great mm -hmm. so 10 30 tour which means we had to get out and moving 
wonderful, great people. I mean, everybody there, if you get a chance to do it, it's free. Mm -hmm. You just go and you tour the plant, you see how they make those. And then, so we did that. So I had that in there. So then I'm looking at how long it takes because we took Highway 2 mm -hmm. through the mountains. Beautiful That's drive. Oh, 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 so beautiful. Amazing. I also played the movie, um, What About Bob? Oh, <laughs> I love that movie. Hysterical. <laughs> so we watched that and went there. So here's my timing. So I'm three days from this trip and I don't have the timing down. Mm -hmm. The hotel I had was in Renton which at first worked, mm -hmm. but then we couldn't get to Renton in order to change clothes and get back to, oh, wait, we don't have any place for dinner because it canceled out. Oh no. oh, no. So three days prior, I am working. And then finally, I just went, you know what? God, I can't do this. I don't know what to do. Yeah, your door was shut like all last week. I told, I told Lori, I said, I feel like I haven't seen you for a week. And that's because your door was shut. And I didn't door was shut. To her. So I'm on the <laughs> phone and and... I'm telling you, when you give it up and say, I can't do anything, God just put it together. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, this gal said, well, our restaurant is closed, but here's this one. And if you want to rent it out, we could do this for you. And I said, okay, let's do that. And then the hotel, I called <clears throat> the Holiday Inn. And I thought, I don't know, but it was the only one available at the last minute for mm -hmm. 20 rooms. Mm -hmm right there on Dexter. Mm -hmm. So we were able to do the time. We got to Dexter. We had an hour to get ready for the dinner. We get ready. We're five minutes to the dinner spot. The dinner was amazing. This mm. chef at Neb's Wine Bar, if you ever get a chance to go, very small little place. It was Italian and I think Japanese fusion because he was from Japan mm -hmm. and um, it was Italian food. It was something I've <clears throat> never tasted before. In all of my travels, That's it was unique. the best wow. meal ever. And then we went five minutes to, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's a quarter to seven. We're supposed to check in. The place starts at 730. Oh, gosh. So they got us our desserts, got us our bills. I mean, literally time stopped. We got to the bus and he got us over to the theater at 725. They're all out there going, come on in, come on in. We got in there, we got seated, and the play started. So it was amazing. It was so much fun. And then day two, we went to the Flight Museum, Museum of Flight mm -hmm. yep. at Boeing. Mm -hmm. If you have That's never really been, cool spend a day there. We were there for, I think, three hours, and it wasn't enough. I really should take the kids out there. Matt and I have been, mm -hmm. but we haven't taken the kids out there. Well, and the food, we decided to just eat. I decided to do, instead of traveling somewhere to lunch, we'd do the cafe. I told him, I says, okay, lunch is on me because that was part of the trip. Um, and they said, oh, just line everybody up. And they took care of everybody and, mm -hmm. ching, and the food was amazing there too. So we got home at six o'clock on Saturday. Everybody had a great time mm -hmm. and was wonderful. I don't even know why I started that, but it was a good trip. Wow. That's because Lori's flamazing. As she's flamazing. Flamazing. I am flamazing. <laughs> Never forget how flamazing you <laughs> are. Keep looking at your earrings. I know. It's, it, I'm in the flamingo mode. I want to see this play. Like, I want to laugh my booty off. Oh, I want to. It's playing. It's in Seattle. It's playing tickets. Oh, spend the. Uh, yeah, I I was not prepared for that, and um, but it is Broadway. You're but it for. was Broadway. You are paying for seasoned actors, and mm. it it was packed, and it's going until the twentieth, I think. Yeah, till the twentieth. So uh, anyway, it was so good, so good. So and now we do waterfall trolley next week. Very nice. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Is too. that filled up? It is filled up. So um, I did just, uh, we have Harrison Hot Springs coming up in September. Um, I just had a cancellation. So if you're interested in that, I've got a room for a double queen on Harrison Hot Springs. So give me a call. If you've never been up there, it's like being in Switzerland. Because you sit there, you're floating on the, on the lake because the resort sets right on the lake. Mm -hmm. And here are these, you know, mountains around you. 
Now, I don't know what it'll look like in September. We went in June before, and it was snow-capped mountains. Ooh. I don't know if they're still, because Baker, Mount Baker, still has snow on it, and it's right they, there. Yeah, we went yeah. to Unumqua this past, well, not this past week, but the weekend before, and it, there was snow everywhere. The boys yeah. and Dolly were like, there's snow! I'm I like, know. Yeah. That was one thing, too, on the, on the uh, trip in Seattle. Seattle has cleaned itself up so nicely. Mm -hmm. I am really looking forward to taking a trip next year to Seattle again and doing the Chihuly Gardens and we'll have dinner at Neb's again and stay at the same hotel. That hotel had gift bags for us. Oh, wow. Yeah, hmm. so clean. I mean, some of these high-end hotels we've been in and we've gone, oh man, clean rooms, the beds were divine. Breakfast, I guess, was amazing. I don't eat breakfast, but yeah, I guess it was really, really good. Anyway. So, um, yeah, Seattle was, we took a tour around the center and it was all clean. There was no homeless. People are out again like they used to be mm -hmm. um, visiting. So look forward to that trip next year. That'll be a fun trip. Yeah. So and, well, I'm glad that they're doing that because they always like. It's cleaned up a lot. Yeah. Because I even noticed when we were went in Tacoma after 4th of July, it wasn't No. Nasty. I mean. It, you go down Sixth Ave, you go to the Point Defiance. It's in the yeah, bad. no, it was not bad at all. Mm -hmm. And and um, our bus had to park about a half a mile from the um, hotel because the hotel is downtown. Mm -hmm. And I had told Bob, I said, do you want me to get you an Uber? And he goes, no, I'll walk because he's done it before. And he says it was a nice walk. He walked up Denny to Dexter and he said it was very nice. Now, in, in the old days, mm -hmm. oh, man, you wouldn't walk anywhere in Seattle. Mm -hmm. So I'm very kudos to Seattle for, you know, really starting to get things put back together because it's a fun city. It, it really is. is. Yeah. I'm actually really happy to hear that. The yes. wife and I, we regularly go up there. We usually go to the farmer's market, the um, Pikes Pikes place. Pikes place. Yeah. And we just walk around. It's like four different levels. Yeah. And we really get to it. So I'm well, happy. I, yeah, I like the Seattle Center um, done because there's your Space Needle and, and Chihuly Gardens is, if you've never been, mm -hmm. it's just, it is, pretty cool. it is so cool. It's it's amazing what he does mm -hmm. with glass and color. So anyway, um, that's my updates. Um, couple things just coming up in event. I've got a lot going on still. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to see. Bless okay. you. Bless you. Let's see. Back to school. Uh, supply drive is going on right now for West Valley, and yes. uh, <laughs> so please bring paper, rulers, binders, notebooks, crayons, pencils, whatever you find for school supplies. Bring them on in. We're going to bring them down to West Valley School District. I'd like to bring the first load mid-August just so they can have that before they start school and they can distribute it to children that really need it mm -hmm. um, before school starts. Um, but we will be doing this all the way to the end of September. So any donation at any time until the end of September, we greatly appreciate it. But if you want to hit up the kids before school starts um, so they can get that to those families, please get it here by about mid-August. Those are fun to shop for, too. They are. I miss doing that, so this gives us a chance to... I do that for three, so I feel like I do enough on that. Well, yeah. But I do like to donate still. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. Oh. But if you have any questions on that, give us a call, 509-575-6166, and um, just ask what you for need info. and more info. We also have our yoga class that is going on at this time. We've got yes. three, more, three more sessions. <laughs> so next Tuesday will be a break. And then oh. they're going to pick back up on the 30th. So um, if you do want to go, it's only $3 for a session, 30-minute session. Suzanne Kearney is teaching it, so check it out. We have book club coming up on Monday. We're reading, well, they've read uh, Lonesome Dove by Larry oh. Mc McMurtry. I haven't read that one. Is it good? Oh, it's good. And I've seen the movie and I've seen the TV. I've seen everything Boy, about Lonesome Dove. Lonesome Dove is awesome. So that's what great. they're going to be discussing on Monday. And the, there's a whole list if you want to join later on. They're they're going to read Wicked. I, I like that book. That was oh, a yeah. good Oh, book. Thursday Murder Club. Um, so there's there's quite a few good ones coming up. And then October, I think, is fun because you pick your own band book to discuss. 
Banned book. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad we started. Is there a list of banned books? I think oh, so. yeah, you can Google that. Where do you, where do you get them if they're banned? For a second, I thought we were it, talking about something else, but then she's like, Thursday Murder Club. Book club! <laughs> it's not a murder club. It's a book club. <laughs> Thursday Murder We're not killing club. anybody here, but you can read about it. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we got coffee we're happy What's uh, we also have our hiking club coming up not this wednesday but next wednesday meet me at sarge hubbard for um the yakima greenway trail we'll be walking oh, down oh nice and we figured we can miss the rattlesnakes that way yes yes you do <laughs> although the arboretum's been doing some cool stuff um if you have grandkids you, you missed this one that happened last week, but they were having another one coming up the 5th of August through the 9th. Um, it's a story walk, and it's at the Arboretum. Oh. And you walk it, and you read the story, and they have the kids do silly stuff as they go down there. So they'll be like, count how many are on this page, like how many stars, oh, how many oh, butterflies. Yeah. And then you have to skip that many times to the next one. Or you have to do <laughs> that many jumping jacks, or you have to clap so many times. It's It was a lot of fun. The My kids absolutely loved it. So if you have grandkids and you're looking for something to do with them that's free, um, August 5th through 9th, check out the Arboretum. They have the story walk. Excellent. And you get your exercise all at once. Exactly. Um, we also have, this week, we have Dinner Club coming up on Thursday. It's going to be at Old Town Station, which is in Union Ooh, Gap. Yeah. Good uh, food. Good if you want to go, give us a call, 509-575-6166. We can put you on the list or stop by the Herman Center front desk and sign up. We just need to know how many are going to be there so they can let the restaurant know. Yes. Yep. Uh, other than that, we, I mean, we're just zooming along with this quarter. Um, Ricardo and I were talking today and he's like, I don't feel like it's slowed down. I'm like, no. oh no, this is slow for me. I'm, this is, I'm like, you just wait. Doesn't just slow wait for, me. for fall. Yeah. <laughs> this is slow for me. Well, and I'm not here. I'm not here almost all of September. Yeah. And then I'm not here almost all of October. You'll see me in November. Yeah. When you do your book, Norman. Yep. That's it. They're both together. The Pacific Northwest. No, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. That's right, because you did it around the time when I was here when I first started. Oh. oh. When's your one year? You could be writing year? a book. Are you writing a book? Uh, <laughs> you could write a book. I, I, mean, seen. I know. A lot of people have said <laughs> you need it would be a comedy, I'm telling you. I mean, I've done some comedy stand ups just because of travel. <laughs> Trust me. But when was your first day of work? Or start we here? still got December first. December first. It's like no December. It was something like December fourth or fifth. Yeah, like right after December fourth. Okay, 4th. yeah, the book was already put together now. Okay, but I start usually in October, and by the mm -hmm. and then I have to get people to get back to me. Mm -hmm. You know, they're saying you want to book October next year. What? And I was like, yeah. Can you kind of give me a price range? Yeah. So and it's yeah. coming around the corner. Time it is flies. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a trip presentation on August 2nd. Um, we've got two coming up. Yeah. Edmund will be here August 1st for our Greek cruise. Um, and then uh, he'll be doing a presentation August 2nd for their 2025. And then Premier World will be here September 6th nice. for their presentation. Um, Friendly Excursions, Alaska Cruise, already sold out. Panama Cruise, almost completely sold out wow. premier world's swiss alps crew or cruise swiss alps by rail sold out well you're cruising on the railway <laughs> you're cruising on the rails so um yeah get in here get a deposit down on a trip also the book nice. is out you were able to put it i got it online, online. so yay thank you print guys that was a mess <laughs> <laughs> yeah we appreciate that we really appreciate you doing it. I think I emailed that poor girl like 17 times because she kept sending it because the way they print the book is they make an 11 by 17. Oh, yeah. And it's how it would print out to fold it and staple it, which is wonderful if you're printing it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you yeah. need a single page for people to read through. It's not in order if it's on that yeah. double page. So after multiple emails, they were able to get it to go to single page and I got it online. So thank you for being patient, especially our email newsletter people. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I could not get that out there quicker. I know you kept reading every week, like 
It'll Where be is it? We're having technical difficulties. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then to show uh, the Canadian Rockies trip, which is starting to fill up, um, there's no pricing on it. There isn't on the Swiss Alps either, but that's a moot point because it's full. But the Canadian Rockies, if you want pricing on that, please give us a call. And because um, I put it in, we didn't have the pricing at the time that I put the book together. So anyway, take a look and see if you're interested. Call. We'll call this and tell them to transfer to me. And if you need to renew your subscription, give us a call. We can tell you when you expire or if you have expired um, and we can get you all fixed up. Yes. Um, I got a meeting in two minutes, so we're oh. going to wrap it up. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. I hope you have a great week. Stay cool. Come see the photo booth. Yes, do. Come in. And it's cool here, so. Yeah. Cool. You'll have a blast. Yeah. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Where is it? I can't read that far away. I like that we all have glasses we can't see. And I'm just going to hit it. Thanks for tuning in to Chat Face with the Harmon Center crew. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.